We're here at Hea Elementary, and this is where Lei actually went to school at the beginning of your sports era, I want to say, because this is where you actually started getting into sports, which we're going to go in a little bit. But I want to know about your music. Producing music and uh, actually singing in a studio, recording it, um, it all started the summer of 2017. Growing up, I, I think I matured a bit, and I really wanted to use that as an opportunity to speak out, to use my voice, and to, I don't know, target whatever audience felt the same way. Siblings, how many do you have? Do you have nieces and nephews too? What's the deal? Yes, yeah, so um, from my mom and dad together, they just have my older sister and I. My sister has two beautiful baby girls and one boy. My dad, from him, I was given four stepbrothers. Big family and we're still growing and it makes me so happy to come home and see them all so big. Let's talk about your bills. What do you do? To pay the bills, what is your job? Which is, I, I think is pretty cool. What do you do? Well, I'm a professional volleyball player. I play in Southeast Asia right now. Tell everybody, how did you get into that? Because that's crazy. I always identified myself as a soccer player, but um, in high school, I started to fall in love with volleyball. And from then on, opportunities kept coming. And it was, you know, one was creating another. and. And now I'm here, my fourth season playing overseas professional volleyball. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. What's the best part about playing professionally? Imagine, as a volleyball player, the fifth set, you have to win by two. It's a packed out arena and everybody is chanting for you, cheering for your team. Uh, and that's got to be the reason why I continue to play. I love it. You feel the love. I feel the love and I you do. hear the screams. Now, we're here again at Hei Elementary and we actually have an empty court sitting right in front of us. <laughs> Now, I don't play volleyball, obviously, because John always talks about my height, but I'm willing to give it a try. Do you think you can show me some, some moves, two of or three? Of course, let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we are here on the court. Now, you're gonna teach me a couple moves. What is the first move that we're learning today? The first and most important move in volleyball is passing. So we're gonna learn how to pass back and forth. Oh, uh, <laughs> a little lower. Do it again. Here. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Your biceps are too big. Oh, that's Is good. that better? Perfect. Okay. Keep it going. Ah. Yeah, you. So the next thing I'll teach you is setting. Okay. So just, you can use it as a pass, or you can use it as to set a hitter. So you just have to... <laughs> Be good with the uh, distance. Uh, okay, back pass. to passing. Ah. Volley, volley, volley. What is the volley? What is the volley? That one's dead. Volley? <laughs> That's a bomb. <laughs> uh, uh. Whoa. Uh. Dinner on you. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, honestly, in front of all of Hawaii, how did I do? On a scale of one to ten, I would say. A 10, because you tried hard. Oh, see, there you go. Not to be cheesy or anything. Yeah, any coach's dream. I love it. Okay, now before we get into the next segment, which you guys will see in a little bit, let's do a quick rapid question that I do with all my hunting and jam artists. Let's okay. go. Let's do it. Uh, where would you want to travel to? Dubai. Favorite type of food? Squid luau. And because you live in the Philippines, what's your favorite type of dish, Filipino dish? Pinataan calabasa. What is that? Explain what that it's is. It's coconut milk and squash with so uh, green beans and shrimp. I know a lot of people out there are thinking, Mikey, you're Filipino, you should know. It's okay, I didn't grow up with it, but I'm gonna definitely try it. Okay. So since we're here to learn about all about your music, is it okay if I go with you to learn about the process of making a song? Of course. All right, let's, let's go. But first, Let's play some volleyball. here in Kahalu'u and we're actually at this beautiful, I want to say estate because it is gorgeous everybody. This holds a special place in your heart, this, this area that we're in. Tell everybody what this means and this place and how it um, is very special to you and your music. 
Being away from home and being that I live and play abroad most of the year, um, when I get to come back here and especially I think the mountains are what connects me to home the most and to who I am as a person and what's molded me to who I am today. This is where, really where I like to come to to get my ideas kind of uh, listed and put on paper so that um, hopefully I can use my experiences to, through music and this is my place. Need you for my sanity, need you to remind me where I come from. Can you remind me of my gravity, ground me when I'm tumbling, spiraling, plummeting. Now, I want to talk about your music process. Where do you start? Do you hear a beat first? Do you hear lyrics? Um, do you go off of a, a experience that's happened to you? Where do you start in the music process? First, I start with, of course, my life experiences. Um, it starts with poetry with me first. Um, I, I've always really liked to write. When I'm feeling a type of vibe or a spirit, a sense of spiritual um, connection with, with the earth or with uh, a loved one, um, I'm really able to kind of zone in and write what I feel. And so that's usually where my music starts. As I walk upon this mission, far away from my family, not a day goes by that I don't wish they were here with me, here with me. No, this road won't be perfect, but your dreams are up for grabs. What is the song that you're going to be playing for everybody, and what is the inspiration behind it? So, this is a song, it's called My Island or it's called Smiling for My Island. It's really new, and um, I actually co-wrote it with Roman, uh, the the lead singer of Kolohi Kai. He's been a really close friend of mine for a long time. And um, basically what inspired me is that um, when I'm away and when I'm playing volleyball, doing my job, um, I have to always think of Hawaii before I go out on the court because that's what gives me the strength. And that's what I think separates me from everyone else in the world is that I come home and I have a whole island on my back. I got, I got everybody I'm representing and I, I want to make sure that I make everyone proud. Uh, using my ability with my body, you know, God gave me the gift to jump high and hit balls. Like, um, he also gave me this voice that I can share my experiences with. So it, I'm super thankful that I get to do both. Awesome, perfect. And stay tuned, guys, because she is going to be revealing that song. You're giving us the exclusive in just a couple minutes. Clay, thank you so much, and I'll see you at the Living Airway Studio. Thank you.